being motivated to go to the gym can have a lot to do with which gym you join. Women who worked out at a gym were four times more likely to stick with their program than those who exercised at home. But you have to shop around. One of the biggest mistakes people make is visiting a gym on Saturday, taking a tour, and then signing up right then and there. That doesn't give you an accurate picture of what you can expect as a member. Instead, ask for a week-long trial to make sure this gym is the right fit for you. And check out their trainers. Considering that there are about 75 personal trainer certification programs out there, you want to make sure the trainer who's going to be correcting your form didn't take a quickie exam last Saturday. Any title sounds official, so look for these letters, NSCA, ACSM, or ACE. And how accessible are they? You'll have to pay for one-on-one -on -one sessions, but better gyms make trainers available to answer general questions about your workout or how to use the equipment. Check out the ratio of men to women. Research shows that women feel more self-conscious about their bodies when they work out around men. They also said they would shorten the length of their workout in a male-dominated setting rather than in a co-ed or all-female group. Because women-only centers aren't for everyone, you want to visit a co-ed gym to see whether you'll be comfortable with all that testosterone.